All right, welcome back, guys. So she's no stranger to the book world, nor to Weekend Smile. Shan's The Book Fairy has hosted several book launches, and she has a bi-weekly online Friday night bookish lime interviewing local and international authors. Her real name is Shani Kitson, and she has four good reads to recommend to us today <laughs> because we're starting the new year, right? And intentional with some book to read. Absolutely. Shanzi, how are you doing? I am doing well, Debbie. Always great to be here I with you. Know. <laughs> we, listen, we were here just going off about these books already <laughs> just because of, you know, the description of a couple of them. So January, it's a good time to start reading, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So the whole aim of Shan's The Book Fairy is to change the concept that people have of reading. We're not reading for academic advancement, we're reading for fun and leisure. And so I wanted to talk about four books oh. by, by Jamaican-based or Jamaican heritage authors that I think everyone should read in various genres. No, listen, let me, let's get into the genres of them all because already once I started reading the description, the <laughs> entertainment of it already is just so good. I didn't have to look any Anywhere else, I don't even want to turn right. my phone. <laughs> this is great. So the first one is a classic. It's called The Doppy by Anthony Winkler. Yes. Summarize it for me. <laughs> All right. So I want to give people reference because a lot of people are more familiar with Anthony Winkler's book called The Lunatic. Mm -hmm. So if you're familiar with The Lunatic, this is the author. So The Doppy, can you imagine being a Jamaican, dying, and going to Jamaican heaven? Oi. This book. We're not going to the streets of gold and chariots <laughs> and milk and honey. No, we're going in the <laughs> shop where you trust things and the food can done and all sorts of things. Now, this one is not necessarily Ooh. for kids. Okay. There's, there's, think about it. It's, it's a, very it's explicit. A, it, there is some explicit is stuff. It's Jamaican in it. explicit. But though. it's Jamaican explicit. Oh, yeah, I get what I'm you're saying. I'm telling you, this one will have you laughing. All the way let me, through. Let me read a couple lines of the description. It says, Winkler recounts the journey of uh, Thaddeus Augustus Baps. 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 a 47-year-old Jamaican who became a doppy or a spirit after he dies. Now, shocked by his unexpected death, Baps discovered he's unable to touch anything earthly and quickly, uh, you know, he wants to get into his new status, so... He's hoping it will enable him to overhear scandal and rumor, eavesdrop on backbiting and tale telling, and witness some extra shenanigans, right? Right. But before Babs can even have any fun, a deceased thief arrives to escort him to heaven, where nothing measures up to what he's expecting, right? So, including the minibus that come for him and not the chariot that he's expecting, the minibus. right? To the promised land. <laughs> Now, once he's in heaven, Babs then meets Miss B, a country general store proprietor, who takes him as her lover until she calls, she's called to another duty. And after she leave and gone about her business, now Babs now have to run the, the store. The wholesale, the, the shop. The wholesale. The shop. And he's trying now to get people to kind of respect him, but yes. that's not happening not So at he all. basically puts in all these rules. People have to pay for the things. And before that, people were trusting the things. And... It's it's crazy. No, this this for me. It's I crazy. Had to, I had to just go into the description a little bit because this was hilarious. I, for and me. I and I can assure you that just as the description gives you that same emotion that it gives you, that's what you're gonna get when you read this one. It is, it's. I, I can't use any other word. I it know. is so comical. It is absolutely hilarious. It's a must. So read. where could people find it though? The Doppy, yeah. you have to, unfortunately, order that online. Oi. Okay, next one. Let's get into it. Not, not easy to find here anymore. All right. So The next category is a dystopian fiction called Daylight Come by Diana Macaulay. All right. Yeah. So for those of you who are familiar, Diana Macaulay lives in Jamaica. She actually was the CEO of JET. She's an environmentalist. And she so cleverly manages to fuse that whole environmentalist background into this dystopian fiction novel that speaks to what the future could be mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. with climate change and global warming. So basically, it's Jamaica. So when you read it, you'll pick up on yeah. certain you know, Jamaican references in terms of geographical space. Mm -hmm. But basically, the, we're, we're in 2034, 
and it the murderous, 1984. Yeah, and the murderers, 1984, yeah. and the murderous rays of the sun have caused persons to be unable to work in the daytime. Every activity outside of the home has to take place in the night. Which could be very, very real. Which could, could be this, so it could be very, real. Very so real. she released this book during the pandemic, and it was just it just gave so much context to the book because mm -hmm. it made us it really makes you think and also she has some very lovable characters there's a mother daughter duo in there and basically um the daughter sorrel she decides that she doesn't want to be trapped in this house she wants to escape yeah. and yeah. so they go on this journey for escape it, yeah. it's so for those of us who don't know, what is a dystopian fiction? Quickly. So dystopian fiction basically looks at the future. Okay. You're thinking sci-fi. You're thinking of what life could be in a futuristic place. So books about zombies, books about the end of the world, that's what you call dystopian novels. Okay, gotcha. All right. The other one is a young adult. Uh, that's a genre. It's called Cane Warriors by Alex Wheatley. Wheatle. Wheatle. Yeah. Okay, Wheatle. And uh, he's, a, he's from... He's from the UK. So he's from the UK, yeah, but his Jamaican family... Heritage. Right, exactly. Okay. Now, this one really, really touched me because the interesting thing about it, it's, it's coming from Taki's Rebellion. Mm. Yes, so the storyline is we're following not Taki, but this young boy named Moa, and he's a slave, and he's recruited to be a part of the rebellion. Mm -hmm. And we look at the whole idea of slavery and that escape to freedom through this young boy's eyes. We see the whole rebellion through this young boy's eyes, that, that purity and that naivety Ooh. and trying to understand what was almost happening. like yes. a coming of age novel as well. So I loved that there is camaraderie, there sh it shows family and love and care between the slaves and the unity that they, they came together, yeah. the brotherhood in order to execute the rebellion. The rebellion right. And it's very short, very easy to read. Young people can read it. The chapters I, are short. I, I love to read you that You could one. read this in one night. And then the other one is a historical fiction on Augustone by oh, yes. Kai Miller. Yes, yeah. Kai Miller. Now, Kai Miller is no stranger to Jamaican literature. He's one of the best. And this book looks at Bedward and Bedwardism. Um, if you're familiar with Bedward, who yes, said he was going to fly up to... Dip there. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so there's socio-cultural context around it. There's a storyline between uptown and downtown. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it has so much depth, but still is just an enjoyable I read. I want to read that one because I want to understand how Bedward managed to get so much people. Like he Man. conquered... He was an influencer a long time before long there was social time before media Long social media, yep, yep. <laughs> I mean, people were selling their homes. Yes. People were ready to fly with him. He gave them a promise. Yeah. Mercy. Okay, with a so, capital P. So for all these books, uh, for, for the Augustone book, where can we find that one? Well, this is available in Kingston Bookshop as well as Daylight Come. Okay. Cane Warriors, you have to order that online. I recommend Amazon. And Anthony, Anthony Winkler's The Doppy, you can yeah. get that on Amazon as well. Okay. Where can people follow you online now? You can follow me on at Shan's Lit Adventures. Yeah. That's S H A N Z L I T A D V E N T U R E S. There we go. <laughs> it's always a vibe when you come across, girl. Trust me. <laughs> Litter blogger Shan's The Book Fairy, Shanique Kitson. Thank you so much for passing through. We'll soon come back. Stay with us right here on Weekend Smile.